Hey guys, Jennifer here with a whole lot of love and today I'm going to make my sausage stuffed French loaf. So here's our, all the ingredients that you're going to need. First, you're going to want um, a big French bread loaf right here. Um, I got this at Trader Joe's, so you're going to need that. The second thing you're going to need is ground pork sausage. You can use ground beef if you rather. I've used both. I've even mixed it, so I have this ground pork right here. The next thing you're going to need, and that's about a pound, and then you're going to need one medium onion and one garlic clove, and you're going to chop both of these and mix it with the loaf. You're going to need one large egg, which isn't here. I'm going to get that out for you in a bit. I didn't want it to get too warm. Um, you are also going to need some fresh parsley, about one-fourth, so you're going to chop this. We'll chop that in a bit. The next thing you're going to need is fennel seed right there, that fennel seed. Some salt, some Himalayan sea salt is what I use, and some pepper, some Dijon mustard, some butter, I'm using this Calder's Dairy Butter, and a cup of mozzarella cheese. So that are all the things you need. You can add or delete or whatever. My boys like it pretty simple, no peppers and all that jazz, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so you wanna cut off the ends of the French bread just to sew, just like that. And you're gonna use these to make a breadcrumb topping that's gonna to go on top. And then you're basically going to cut the top of the French loaf and hollow out the inside. So that's the tricky part. You gotta cut through, get all the way around, and then just hollow it out so you can fit the, the French loaf, the sausage and the onion mixture that's gonna go inside, inside there. This is the tricky part. You just go ahead and kind of open it up and then you're just going to kind of take out all the inside of the bread. Just like that. Here's the inside. I'm opening it up and I'm going to start taking away the inside just like that. And I'm going to reserve this because I'm going to use it for something else. So you want to make sure that you don't throw it out because I don't like to throw anything out. Okay, so there's your hollow out um, French loaf, and we're going to go ahead and start browning the sausage. So the meat is in, in the pan, in the skillet, it's over medium high heat, and I'm adding garlic, and I'm adding the onion, I diced it, and then I'm going to add that in there and brown that. So that's going to be about 15, 20 minutes, depending on how fast. This is a cast iron skillet, so it should cook, once the skillet's warm, it should cook pretty quickly. So you're going to brown this up, just stirring it, mixing it until um, the onion and the garlic are cooked a little bit and the French loaf. This doesn't go in the oven that long, so you want to kind of really brown it to make sure all the redness is gone. Then you are going to add about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Get that nice and coated. And you want um, one-fourth teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt or any kind of salt, the fennel seed and the pepper that right now into the sausage mixture, mixing in between and getting everything nice and brown. It's tricky with one hand. Let me tell you, this is a really quick, easy meal. It's taking me a little bit longer because I'm videotaping it, but it's a really quick meal. Um, and I like to cook this when it's a little bit cooler outside just because of the simple fact that your oven is going to be on to cook it. And you can pair this with any kind of vegetable, fruit, or starch. So I just added the Himalayan sea salt. This It's in a grinder, so it's a little hard with one hand to do it, because I need the other hand to hold, and then the other one to grind. You just mix that all up. Now you're going to take one egg, the egg that I showed you, or didn't show you, at least that was still in the fridge. You're going to kind of lightly beat that egg, and then mix it in the mixture. And then the insides of the loaf that I told you to take out, you're going to add that along with the mozzarella cheese. I'm going to add the mozzarella cheese right now and mix that up and then the breadcrumb. So I'm mixing to make sure it's distributed nice and evenly in the pan and everything is nice and cooked. And then after that, the final step is filling the loaf with this. Now the loaf that I bought was quite large, so I'm actually cutting it in half. And if you didn't pre-freeze it, I'm going to freeze the other half for a future meal. Or if you did pre-freeze it or it's getting old, you can probably turn it into garlic bread which might be what I'm going to do. 
Okay, so you're going to take the loaf and you're going to start filling it with this mixture. Um, hopefully I help howled it out enough. It's kind of tricky when you do these videos because you're like so focused on making sure every detail is filmed and then you're not focusing so much on actually making the meal. So I cut off some of this because it seemed like it was quite large so I'm hoping that it's going to work. If not, I have a smidgen of it left that I can put um, into another one. And you're going to put this on aluminum foil because you're going to bake it loosely in this aluminum foil into the oven. So you want it on there so it's kind of going to be contained and not all over and overcooked. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to top this. If you want to top it with more seasoning, that's completely up to you. You're going to top it with your butter drizzle that on top. So I'm getting all that in there and getting all every little piece out so it doesn't go to waste. I'm putting it inside. Uh, sorry about that. That's my phone. First day of school and I got tons of texting and phone calls. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of smoosh that together. Smooch. Is that even a word? So I kind of got that, and then I'm going to prepare my butter. I'm going to melt it a little bit, and then put it on top. So we're getting close. Okay, so one thing I forgot to add in my mixture, my meat mixture, and I advise you to do that, is my um, parsley. So I went ahead and put that in there. And then I'm going to top this whole loaf with this melted butter, and just kind of get it all over. It prevents it from sticking, and makes it a little bit more moist. I'm just going to spread it all over, get on the top. Um, keeping the parsley within the sausage loaf. Then I'm going to wrap this loosely in this pan or in this aluminum foil and I'm going to place it on this cookie sheet and then I'm going to bake it at 400 degrees for about 20-25 minutes. So kind of loosely put that in there like that go ahead and I'm going to throw it in the oven. All right, so I just pulled it out of the oven. There's the French loaf, it's finished. I basically take a serrated knife and cut it and voila, you can serve it with a salad, fries, corn, whatever tickles your fancy, pretty easy. Details for this recipe you can find on my blog, which is www.myholeoutoflove.wordpress.com. Enjoy.